Hello everybody, Imminent Storm here. Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. In the last episode, we worked on the freight lines that are going to eventually be making tools that we're going to need for several of our cities. So that's good. Here's the train that's going to be delivering logs, or currently is delivering logs, to the lumber mill here at Lorien. We don't have anywhere to take those logs yet, because we haven't actually fired up the tools factory. But that's going to be the plan for today. Also ran this section of track to out along this corridor, bypassing that station, and then coming into this station, which we did some extensive reworking to. And so now that is ready to bring in is bringing machines in. We're also going to bring tools in here, and then the tools should then hop on various trains to head on out to various locations, which are already covered. Not as efficiently as I would like, but there is some tools customers that are covered by our current delivery points. So, it should work. So, what we need to do is we need to get a train running from, well, from here to here. And we need to get a tram. I, th I think I'm going to use cargo trams again. Running from here to here. And I think that's the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up a cargo tram. And there's been a major update to the game with some significant changes. One of them is, you know, straight roads versus curvy roads. So if I go to straight roads and do this, the road stays straight whenever I try to do this. But if I switch it over to curvy roads and try to work it around, then it, it bends. Pretty nice. Also, if you lay down some piece of infrastructure and then immediately delete it, it actually refunds you the cost. So if you make a mistake or something, it doesn't hurt you. Um, but if you leave it sit, I think that if you leave it sit um, for long enough, then it becomes a permanent fixture in the landscape and then trying to remove it then will cost you. But it gives you a little bit more uh, freedom to make some errors in your layout and design without costing you. And it's gonna be a big help to players uh, in the early game because if you make a major mistake laying a station or building a track or laying a road, early on in the game, it can seriously cramp your ability to uh, get started properly. So that's a nice feature. There's a few other things, major performance improvements to the game. The save file loads up a lot faster. Um, stuff like that. So it seems like it's going to be a pretty good update. All right, so let's go ahead and get this thing in here. Um, well, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to throw some tram track in out to there's fine. Gonna make that a uh, longer station. We're gonna make sure we electrify it. Drop that there. Can't wait till I get paved country roads, which I'm hoping is going to be fairly soon. There we are. Okay, so let's create the line. Road freight. Uh, I guess this is going to be crossroads tools. I 
Okay, there we go. Tram Depot. Oh, oh. Maybe I'll put it somewhere in the middle of the line. Just so that it isn't crowding my, uh, my stations. Should I want to expand them in the future? Alright. Let's just get four of these. Well, I gotta wait for the autosave. There you go. Alright, so that should activate our tools factory, which should also activate our sawmill. And we should start seeing lumber show up here. And we are. Beautiful. Alright, now what I need is a tools. Well, a Lorian. Uh, a, a shunting route line here from here to there. It's going to be a freight shunting. So, train freight. Uh, let's see. Lorian shunting, I guess I'll call that. Okay, and then I need to get a train on that. Is there a depot? There's this depot. But I don't think there's any way to get from these lines to that line there. But I can fix that. Yep. So then I can use this depot to put a train on that line. Alright. This could be a shunting line. Um, I'm not going to want too many boxcars on it. So I'm not going to need a big grunty locomotive. Um, something relatively cheap and somewhat quick. Let's see. That's not terrible. That's a little bit too wimpy. I think this one's going to be fine. 56 miles an hour. Our wagons really only do 50 anyway. So we'll throw one of those on there. 700 horse. It's only 2 million. And it's 300k a year. That should be fine. Uh, let's see. Box car, 50 mile an hour box car. We'll throw one, two, three, four on there. Buy it. Throw it on the Lorian shunting line. And that is the success noise. Train has found its path. Oh, who is going to get through that junction first? Oh, that one did.
I should probably put a signal there, just because. Because that'll free that guy up. Bring him back some refined oil. Alright, and then you're going to run that way. Okay, but even still, it's not really going to have anything to do yet because I can't actually move tools from here to there yet because this train I'm just going to like copy that in there so I just want to make the same thing, but with, uh... Right, we're on the A35. With 10 flat car with side stakes. Actually, what I'll probably do is put... Flat car with side stakes is this one, is the one I was using. One, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Replace it. Alright. Now we can move tools. Somehow this did not pick up any planks because the actual tools factory hasn't been activated yet. Well, it should still have moved it. Alright, let's uh, crank the speed up. Let's watch this thing go through another cycle and make sure that this is going to work. making tons of cash. I mean, absolutely tons of money. So we're starting to get to the point in the game where money is starting to become you know, not really a concern. And we still have to think about it. You know, I, I can't, like, blow everything on very unprofitable lines. We still could, theoretically, you know, screw things up. But... Alright, so we got tons of planks here. So you should now drop that off. Alright. Pick up all them planks. Perfect. Oh boy. What's going on? I think we just passed a major time milestone. Planes are now available. I think all the cities in the, in, on the entire map are currently updating their assets. Which is probably what that is, because it's now 1920. Yep. We're starting to see modern assets show up. Does that mean that I now have roads that are paved? No.
Okay, so what this should do... ...is then deliver those planks here. Planks are being delivered. That guy picked up some planks. Okay, good. Auto save this time. And if this is working as intended, with the delivery of the first planks, we should now start seeing some tools start to show up here, which we do. Alright, that's the guy I should pick up the tools. There you go. And then that's going to make its way out to town. Perfect. Now what I'm probably going to want to do is take this guy and clone him. I absolutely love that button. So not only does it clone it, it finds the right depot to put it in and throws it automatically on the line. That's beautiful. All right, now that's probably not a ton of tools. And this little shunting line that runs from there to there is probably not going to make a ton of money. It will make the, the train that runs from here to here make a little bit more money. And from, like, from there to there make a little bit more money. And some of these other trams make some more money. Or trucks, whichever is being used. Because there's going to just be more goods available for them to move around. So, that's... Good, and it will probably get some of these towns to grow a little bit more because they're actually going to get some deliveries of some th stuff they want. So, that's good. You actually have three trains on that line. Why did you only pick up... Oh, that's because you're going the other way. Okay. So, Springfield is receiving... It should be receiving both food and bricks. Is it not? Yeah, we should be bringing back both food and bricks. But it isn't. It's only bringing back bricks, not food. That's interesting. These little guys... ...probably need to be replaced with uh, with these guys actually with those guys okay No, 
not sure why food isn't making its way through there. Because certainly we're making food. I mean, we're making tons of the stuff. We got 132 food here. These trains may need to be replaced. Let's manage those vehicles. Let's take a look at those. Let's see. They need to have open wagons of some sort to bring in grain. They need to have the box cars for general goods. And they need to have the flat car with side stakes for something else. I think steel, probably. Not really sure what those are for. But I also want to make this longer. Which means that this station probably is going to need to be made slightly longer. So let's go ahead and configure that up. Let's add 80 more meters to that station. Those are made of two different things. That's... Odd. Oh, that's gonna annoy me. Alright. But whatever, I worry about, I'll worry about that later. Manage vehicles, let's replace these guys. Alright, so what are we gonna replace them with? We have our first electric locomotive. We have the Milwaukee class EP2. Top speed 75 miles an hour. Make costs $12 million and costs $2 million per year. Uh, this thing is not making that much profit. Schneider PB2, the Crocodile, and the Donner Bush. If I'm pronouncing that right. Most likely not. Alright. So that is not a thing that is going to happen there. Alright. What we are going to want is something that's a bit quicker. Carries more stuff. Currently has a 260 mogul on it, which is that guy right there. Does 47 miles an hour. 544 horse. The Mikado. 50 miles an hour. 1500 horse. Much more expensive. 442 Atlantic. 900 horse. 544. 2.5. Let's see. 432,000 per year versus 700. I think the Atlantic might be the more sensible upgrade and then just see if it continues to make a decent profit. So let's go ahead and add that on there. For cargo, gondolas. I want the cheapest one. Current gondolas hold... I don't know which gondola is using. It's using one of these ones that's seven. Okay. I'm gonna go with this one that holds eight. And we're gonna add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Add eight of those on there. We're already down to mediocre. I still have like, uh, 
One, two, three, four, five of those box cars. And state cars. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, it didn't replace both of them? Oh. Well, that's... I didn't have it checked. It's my fault. Alright, well, no problem. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then uh, one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five, and then replace. There you go. It must have had to stop for somebody. That is a fairly complicated junction there. And this train actually doesn't stop there, does it? It stops there on the way back. So, we may need to look into expanding some of these platforms. I just don't know how I'm going to do that. This entire junction would need to be reworked. Not impossible, but a pain in the neck. So with this... Well, we'll just see how it goes. If it causes a problem, I'll have to rework it. Are you getting anywhere close to 50? You're up to 40. 41. Let's see. Do you get up to 50? You do get up to 50. Alright, excellent. like this guy to do. Is pick up the food. There you go. There's also like some machines sitting here. Why are the machines sitting here? There's like nowhere for those machines to go. Why would they even have been brought down here in the first place? That's weird. Alright. But... If there aren't any other like immediate... Replacements I need to make. Oh, I got some very bad trams. Limsa Lamensis trams. And Psalms trams. Alright, that's uh, easy enough.
I guess we'll go with those Peter Witt street cars. There we go. And the same with these. There you go. Let's just take a look and see if we're starting to see any changes in the capital. We are starting to see some some changes here, some new buildings. I probably am going to need to update the tram lines, probably add a new one in here to just kind of loop around, add in more of this residential area. Maybe do a bus or something instead. I'll have to make a decision about that. Alright, but we're going to go ahead and end this episode here. So, that's all working. I hope. You carrying you carrying tools. Beautiful. All right. So yeah, that is definitely working. All right, and we're gonna th decide on what it is we're gonna do next. Um, because we should have all of the basic freight that we need to supply all of these cities in the system, even up to this city here, because there should be food making it through. I don't know why there isn't. What I may need to do is set up another food production, because there should be some farms over here somewhere. There's a farm. And a food processing plant. Well, there's a couple of farms there. And there should be food processing somewhere around here? I'll have to find it. And maybe throw some more food into this network and see if that helps. All right. But for now, we'll go ahead and stop here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.